Oh, wait, it's on? Yes. Oh, oh you too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to Everyday Life. I know it's been a while, but here we are today. I've had some requests for meal preps. I will be doing her meal preps along with her. So we're gonna be preparing potatoes and instant pot brown sugar garlic chicken. I know she's already had and she's liked, but she doesn't remember. I swear but I haven't anyways. had it yet. So for the garlic potatoes, I'm gonna be using our cast iron. What we're gonna do is Peel all the potatoes. These are new potatoes from the garden, so I don't worry about all those little nits. Uh, we're back, they're all peeled. And the point of this is to just slice them, but not go all the way through. So take, since it's your, your potatoes going in there, take whatever spices you want on it. Here, so I'll let you, uh, I'm going to put some olive oil on top of these, drizzle some on top. This is what, onion powder? Yep. Ça sent les oignons, on aime ça les oignons. These are all the spices you want? Mm-hmm. Voilà. Add a little bit at the bottom here so that nothing burns. Alright, and now we put this in the oven for about half hour to 45 minutes. Once the potatoes are done, then we will go in with a little bit of Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on top to finish it off. Alright, we're back. Now we're going to start with the Instant Pot Brown Sugar Garlic Chicken. She will be doing it. Oh, I'm gonna let her work this baby so that if ever one day she decides to get one or you know for her own place uh, she will know how to work it. Okay, so now it just says you gotta do the saute button so you just click that and you just let it go until it gets hot and then we're gonna add a you little bit of lid open too? Yeah because you're just gonna be sauteing your chicken once it's hot you'll be able to put olive oil at the bottom but first we gotta season your chicken. So now she's this is warming up She's gonna put olive oil in there once it's warm. She's gonna season her chicken. It says to season it with uh, salt and pepper, and then she's gonna sear it, and then after that we will add the minced garlic, the cayenne pepper, the brown sugar, and the apple cider vinegar as well. I'm getting her to do this because this is her meal prep and she, she can season her own meat because then she'll know what she likes on it. You know what you can do? You could just leave it on that side, take your thongs there, yeah. and then just put them skin down here. And then when you flip them, then you can add the spices. So skin side first. There you go. Now we'll just let it cook for a little bit. Grab your king with you. See if you can lift one up. You need a, st a stool? Yeah! You're too short. I should have. Oh man, I'm taller than the camera! That's okay. It's still so sticky. Let me see. I promise I actually know how to cook. Like, this is not my first time. No, okay. See? That's wrong. See, I turned it and it's not quite there yet. So we'll leave it for a little bit longer. So, just so you have uh, an idea, I usually prep or do meal preps on the weekends to get ready for the week, mostly for her and Jeff. And then I prepare mine every night as I go. Um, I like mine, like as far, I do wraps and salads and just kind of like, uh, what do you call that, finger food for my lunches. Um, they also do that sometimes in theirs. Um, I've already prepped the, the grapes and the strawberries. I've washed them and prepared them, put them in the crisper for the fridge. So that's all ready to go. Now we just need to get the milk cups done. And then we'll, once they cool off a bit, we'll stick them in the freezer. And then all they'll have to do is just add their fruits and vegetables as they go um, along during the week. I find this a lot easier for everyone if we do the milk cups on the weekends. This way, we're not prepping every night, except for I prep mine every night. 
But it's less people in the kitchen and less going, what am I going to have the next day when, when, you know, we have a million things to do when we get home. Let's check it again. Oh, it's okay. Maybe. It didn't fly. Still sticking. Okay. You can turn it now. Turn it? Yeah. Now you can add whatever seasoning you want on top. Gonna let it cook for a bit and then once that's done we're gonna have to remove the chicken from here for a little bit and then add the garlic to, uh, to saute it to a light brown and then we'll add the chicken broth the brown sugar the apple cider vinegar and the cayenne pepper and salt uh, you've already put salt so you won't have to add any more unless you want to and then we're gonna put the cover on and put it on high pressure for eight minutes and then it'll be done so this week, I'm going to be preparing myself a Greek chickpea salad. So I will do a video on that. It's super easy. It won't be a very long video, but at least you'll kind of see what I put in mine. It's kind of what, basically, it's whatever you want to add in it. So anyways, look for that video as well. You're going to remove your chiton with your high stool and your head cut off a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry, it won't splash you. It's not going to splash me. It came at me. Now you're going to add your minced garlic. Two tablespoons? Yeah. Is it supposed to look like this in the dark? Yeah. Okay. Just put this. One more. They say it's supposed to be chicken broth and stuff is supposed to be good for you, so I don't know. Okay, so now we're just gonna let it dry for a bit so we can take all the scrapings off because if you leave uh, stuff at the bottom, it will go on the burn setting because it'll say something's burning. It's not always the case, it's just because there's something stuck at the bottom. So if you take care of it with broth, before adding anything else, you are good to go. Um, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay, you're Half gonna a teaspoon of put, apple cider. put your chicken back in there first. Yeah. And that's it. So now. I, I took off the saute button when she was putting the chicken back. Now what we do is you put the arrows that match so that you can kind of, you can turn. Then you make sure this the vent is closed. Okay. And then, yeah, here you're going to do pressure cook. Then you're going to go eight minutes, look one, and then take this out. And then that's it. Then you let it go. Okay. Now it's going to build up pressure. And then it's going to go beep again, and then it's going to start counting down the minutes of cooking time. So now it's going to build the pressure. It'll be, it'll be about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. And then once that's at pressure level, it'll beep again, and then it'll start cooking for the eight minutes. That's it for now. So now we just wait for the chicken to cook and the potatoes to cook, and we'll come back and uh, show you guys the next steps. This baby is done. What you're going to do is you're going to go, but if you want, you can come on this side and just push it. But I'm going to move this because I don't want it to uh -huh. light. <laughs> come on this side. Why? Well, I'm a lefty. Oh, that's right. I can. Okay. I just nick all the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the way. Oh, I just water. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> now we just let it do its thing. Once this little piton goes down, this little red button goes down in your clip and no more vape. Don't put your hand there because you'll burn yourself. 
uh, you can open this thing. That actually smells really good. So I'm usually the one doing this all by myself, but Grasshopper wanted to learn how to, how to use this baby, so Grasshopper got a lesson. So these meal prep containers, you can get them on Amazon, or you uh, we just bought them at Walmart. Turn this open. I also put the food in because there's a lot of... Stuff. Sorry, I turn this way. And then lift. Then it's going to be water. Bring it in so you don't burn yourself. Like tip it a little bit yeah. so the water can come out. Alright, now we'll come back once uh, the potatoes are ready. There you go, potato, potato and her chicken in here. So now we're just going to let this cool before we put the tops to put it in the freezer. And on a normal work day, what would you bring with this? So before I leave work actually, I'll probably add, but I like butter and hot sauce on my potatoes, so I'll probably just add like a little thing. And then probably with the chicken, I'll just put some barbecue sauce on it, so then when I heat it up at work, there's like whatever flavors. makes it more flavor and juicy. I like to eat fruits and veggies in my lunch because I don't eat healthy when I'm not working. So uh, I like to cut, I usually do this the night before if I don't procrastinate, which I've been pretty good lately. So I like to cut up some cucumb Oops. cucumbers. <laughs> well, there we go. Some, some cucumbers, I just like to slice them up there. Or we've had cucumbers from the garden, which those were good. Um, I like grapes, so I'll just, my talent already put them in the food saver and everything so they're all clean, ready to go. Grab a container. I'm a huge fan of strawberries. I like to eat them on my break because I get hungry in the morning and those fill me up. So those are all cut up and ready to go. Apples. Well, you never know if they're mushy on the inside, but you know, you take a risk every time. I like yo like I like the yolk yogurts, well cheese and not the diamond cheese strings. I like actual cheese. <laughs> Coolie jammers because these are the best juice box ever. And then any other snacks that I might want. I'm a fan of like the Ritz crackers. You can buy them in a six pack. Which what superstore we bought Super them at or Sobeys or Sobeys whichever one. Which is way better than the smaller ones. Granola bars. I like crispers and a little cookie pack. Might add a little banana, but who knows how I feel. But that's what I and do. And do you end up eating everything, or sometimes you just you just bring extra in case you get hungry for, during the day? I eat my whole meal prep. I eat all of my fruits and veggies. Actually, the only thing I might leave in my lunch is maybe like a granola bar or like the crispers. But I try to eat all the actual stuff because this fills me up. So by lunchtime, honestly, half three quarters of this is it's gone. gone. Perfect. All right, so there you have it. This is uh, one one of the many meal preps that I've done and that I will prob uh, probably do other videos on just so it gives people more ideas. So good. I ideas, I know it smells really <laughs> good. Ideas on different kind of meal preps you can do if you're the type of person that likes chicken and potatoes and stuff like that for your uh, lunches, which I know she does and I know that my husband does. Um, I'm more of a uh, farmer sausage, uh, not farmer sausage, um, finger food garlic, or yeah, garlic. like, like, finger yeah. food, yeah, like, uh, garlic sausage with cheese and fruits and vegetables and stuff, so, so there you have it, uh, one meal, one meal prep afternoon-ish that we've done, um, and, uh, hopefully that, uh, kind of gives you an idea, I mean, we made this for meal preps, but you can make it for a supper too. It, it works out the same. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Um, hopefully you guys will take something from it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please uh, like, uh, share with your friends. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And uh, look, um, there should be a video coming out, or if, if it hasn't already, on uh, apple butter which Jeff has done. And there should be another one coming out on a shorter video on my uh, chickpea Greek salad that I will prep for my meal preps. So um, yeah, hopefully everybody is in great health and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.